I am holding vitamin D3 in my hand right here. As I come close to the camera, you can see that vitamin D capsule right there. And why are we talking about this? Because so many millions of people are deficient in vitamin D. Yes, we can get our vitamin D from being in our sun, but the sun does have its repercussions of potentially causing skin cancers and other issues. Obviously, if you live in an area that doesn't have a lot of sun, if you're dark colored skin, if you're not getting the right foods into your body that has vitamin D, we can fall behind quite easily. Vitamin D plays so many different important functions in our body, strengthening our immune system, getting calcium into the bones, helps prevent cardiovascular and heart disease. It has a direct role with insulin, helping to get sugars into our cells of our body. It affects arthritis, and the list goes on and on. But we do know it plays a tremendous role with our immune system. But why is it that so many people are deficient in vitamin D? Is it because that you're not getting your vitamin D or you're not getting your sun? Aha, and that's what opens up this topic because there's one mineral that's involved in 300 different enzymatic functions, it's called magnesium. And that is the one mineral that plays a crucial role in the metabolism and activation of vitamin D in our bodies. And this conversion occurs in our kidneys where magnesium helps convert the inactive form of vitamin D into the active form where the body can then utilize it so it can go to work. And magnesium is involved in the regulation of vitamin D receptors. And these receptors are found throughout our entire body and they play a significant role in the absorption and utilization of vitamin D. And when our magnesium levels are low, yes, a great amount of our population has low magnesium, these receptors cannot be activated, not allowing vitamin D to go to work in your body. And when it comes to bone health, yes, osteoporosis, you or someone you know who may have it, and you may be thinking that, wow, I'm getting all this vitamin D, I'm taking more than I need, but you still are having this condition the calcium, the matrix is getting weaker, more brittle, more prone to fracture, hip fractures, compression fractures. This is where they do that bone density scan on you to determine how much calcium you have in your bones. But if magnesium is low, it's not going to allow vitamin D to get that calcium into the bone. And common signs of low magnesium are nausea, constipation, headaches, nighttime leg cramps, numbness or tingling in the legs or hands, just general body weakness, as well as heart palpitations or even arrhythmias. And vitamin D deficiency symptoms are known to have a weakness in your immune system where you're getting sick a lot, feeling tired and fatigued, having hair loss, muscle pain, as well as joint pain. And there are many foods that have magnesium like chickpeas, edamame, tempeh, soy nuts, tofu, your almonds, cashews, and other nuts, your pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, and other seeds, dark leafy greens, fatty fish such as salmon and tuna, avocados, bananas, dark chocolate, non-fat or low-fat Greek yogurt, brown rice, as well as peanut butter. And the daily recommended allowance is 800 IUs. They have supplements in 1,000 IUs, 2,000 IUs, as well as 5,000 IUs. But in order to know your vitamin D levels, it should be checked with your doctor so you have a baseline. And your magnesium intake should be anywhere from 320 milligrams for females up to 420 milligrams for males. But it should be a little bit more in my opinion. And why? Because there are other factors in our life that can deplete magnesium even worse. How do we know the soil where the food has come from? How do we know how much stress our body's handling to where we're not excreting it? Smoking tobacco, not sleeping correctly, high cortisol levels, you can get the hint. So having a little bit more magnesium is important because let's say now we need the conversion of magnesium to help that conversion of vitamin D to work properly in our body. But as we convert more of that vitamin D with our magnesium, 
we're still losing more magnesium because it's being used up to help the conversion of vitamin D. And yes, it's very complicated when you look at it from a physiological point of view. But the bottom line is, is that if you're using more of something to make something work more, this eventually could become less. The bottom line is we need to be certain we're getting enough of our magnesium as well as enough of our vitamin D. So both of these minerals can work synergistically with each other. So you can obtain the best optimal health to live a long and healthy life. So please take care of your body, get rid of the processed, refined foods, do your exercise, get your sleep, keep the cortisol level and those stress levels down because that can really burn things out within your body. And get it checked out with your doctor, your levels of your vitamin D because magnesium sometimes can be very hard to find in a blood test because there's not a lot in your bloodstream. It's a little more complex. Most doctors don't check it, but they can if they need to. The bottom line is, if you're having symptoms, this tiredness, fatigue, you're always getting sick, or you're having other situations that we mentioned or problems, you may wanna to speak to your doctor. I hope this video serves you well. So I wish you the best for you, your loved ones, and your family. Please leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.